Hi, it's State Representative Jim Walsh here in my office at the Capitol for our week three update in the current legislative session in Olympia. The state legislature is deep into it. We're, we're beginning to get into the real heart of discussing policy. And today I just want to talk about two of my policy points that are filed as bills and beginning to move through the process here. One is a bill that would fund one school resource officer, SRO, in every K-12 school building in the state of Washington. It's an ambitious bill, an ambitious project to increase the number of uniformed law enforcement at our schools, at our K-12 campuses. It is a system and a program that's in place in the state and been for a long time, but tends to be underfunded. The school districts have to pay for the school resource officers. They usually contract with local law enforcement, so your, your county sheriff's department or a local police department, to provide uniform law enforcement at the schools. Um, some school districts use it with great success, others can't afford it, and a few choose not to use these programs. Uh, what the bill would do is make sure that there's enough money that every school district that chooses to have school resource officers can have them at every, at every school. Uh, I believe strongly that having SROs on campus accomplishes a couple of things. And uh, research around the country has shown that uh, having school resource officers on campus lowers the incidences overall of criminal or destructive behavior on the parts of kids. There's some controversy about whether it prevents the worst kind of violence uh, and, uh, of course, mass shootings, school shootings. Uh, and, and the jury's kind of out on whether it, it uh, discourages that kind of thing. But it, but it does discourage overall uh, destructive behavior. A and also, and this is important, I think it shows kids, especially young kids, that law enforcement officers are on their side, are part of their life, are part of their system, are friendly, are supportive people to those kids' lives. And I think that's important too, when so often the only impression young kids have of police and law enforcement is from TVs or movies. So uh, I believe in the SRO system and I think it's important. This bill had a hearing, a committee hearing, and is in the process of sort of working its way through a committee vote, and I hope that it will proceed. The other bill that I have supported and am supporting again is a bill to create a school choice program in the state of Washington. This would allow families around the state of Washington to have what we call a scholarship, what some states call a voucher, that they could use to put their kid in whatever kind of education, learning environment the family chooses. It could be their public school. It could be another public school in another location. It could be a charter school. It could be a private school or it could be homeschooling. The reason I think this is important is we've seen lately that results of proficiency tests for kids in our K-12 education system here in Washington aren't doing well. 50% of Washington State students fail the English language proficiency tests and about 60% fail the math. We need to get those numbers up and I think the best way to put that kind of reform into action and get better results is to give families choice about how their kids learn. That's a controversial policy point, but it's one I will continue to support and am supporting again this session. So these are two points in policy affecting our kids' K-12 education experiences. It's our paramount duty as a state legislature to make sure that our basic education is of high quality for all the kids around the state of Washington. And I think both of these bills are worthy of discussion here at the Capitol. That's it for week three. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye-bye.